Hey there, Trekkers and Trekkies. So, we're going to be... I, I didn't realize until I actually looked at it and paid attention that I've been doing a lot of books that involve the Okudas, Michael and Denise Okuda. Um, and that's just because they did. They wrote a lot of Star Trek books. Uh, <laughs> so I can't help that. They're, if... if they pay attention to their tags on videos or YouTube. They're like, man, this guy must really want our attention or something. Um, which if they saw my last video on the Star Trek chronology, then yes, they did. I do want your attention. I want you to write a new book and send it to me for free. Uh, but this is possibly one of the shortest works that they have done. It only has 22 pages. This might be the shortest book that I ever do in this series, but this is such a fun one. This one, uh, oh man, I forgot to look and see when this was printed. Uh, 19, September 1999. Um, boy, they waited till late in the run of the shows to make this book. This book, it has such a fascinating smell to it for some reason. I don't know why. Because it's not even one of the oldest books I have. You know, old books, they tend to have, they get some interesting smells, but this one, I don't know. So, it is. It's also the first interactive book that we've done. It's not going to be, well, no, we did have the 3D book, which sort of had an interactive element to it. But this one technically has, if I wanted to, I could, I could take and take stuff out of this book. I wouldn't really be able to put much back into it. But it is the Star Trek sticker book. <laughs> um, and you're probably thinking, it, it's just a book of stickers. Why would we care about just a book of stickers? Except Michael and Denise know that we don't just want. See, Doug, he'd probably be like, yeah, let's just send out sticker sheets to all the fans. But Michael and Denise, they know what's up. They know that what we really want, if I can turn the page, is sections that describe which e what each sticker means. They're like, this, this sticker is a sticker of this ship. And this ship, and this ship does this, and, and it has a, a captain. It has the captain, Jean-Luc Picard, and the exterior was designed by Andrew Probert. <laughs> I don't know why I happened to reach down and pick the shortest paragraph. But they do have a lot of, like, the door signs type stuff. Like, this one is for the transporter room. I'm just going to, here, we're going to going to flip this back over for a second. I'm going to read this entire paragraph about the transporter room sign. I love this. Transporter room. The main personal transporters aboard the Galaxy Class Starship Enterprise D were located on deck six in the ship's huge saucer-shaped primary section. The invention of the matter in energy transport system was one of the most important technological developments in space flight since it made planet-to-orbit transfers far more convenient and economical than New Newtonian reaction-based vehicles, such as the ancient space shuttle. The door signs on the Next Generation era ships were intended to be clearly readable to Starship crew members, but were also designed to be fairly difficult to read by viewers on a television screen. One reason for this is that you don't want the signs to be you don't want the signs to distract the attention of the viewer away from the characters. Another reason was that the show had one basic corridor set, which was used to represent the different decks on the ship. Keeping the deck numbers and labels relatively hard to read on television made it easier for the production company to avoid making mistakes, even though the show's graphic artist usually did change the door signs as needed for each episode. Well, there you go. Wasn't that informative? Like I said, this this book is not 
as much about the information, but the information is fun. What this book is about is the stickers. So there it is. You get, and these, I mean, these are big stick. You do get little versions and you get big versions of all of these stickers. And some of them are huge. Like, honestly, you could use these Alcars panels with like the nine, heck, you probably use them with the 12 inch. Like if you've got any of the, uh, the X06 dolls of Captain Cisco that wanted to be sent to me, then I could, I could put this on a panel and it would look like he's typing on it. Um, but here's what's cool is that they made the door signs big enough that and again, let me flip over so you can see this like next to my head. Okay, these were these are life size versions of the stickers that you could put if you just really wanted to. You could put around your house. I guess I should position this this way. It makes more sense. So you can be like the holographic environmental simulator number four, which is on deck 11, room 2,917, I guess. I don't know. Not sure how that works. Um, got smaller versions of the door signs, which these were actually still, these were like the little panel uh, stickers. We got... Isolinear chips. Again, these are life-size isolinear chips. If you took that out and put it on a little piece of plastic, it's going to look life-size. Now, for the these stickers, these would have to go more for like the 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 one-sixth scale figures. We got some Federation planets stickers. We got these that are. They're just stickers of each of the ships from above, I guess, okay. And we've got Runabout, and Shuttle, and Captain's Yacht, and Delta Flyer. We got other symbols. Got the, the medical catechus up there. We got tricorders, and phasers, and communicators, oh my. And Klingon stuff. Because we always need Klingon stuff. Uh, we get a little bit of Romulan, a little bit of Cardassian, which these would actually work really well on the back of like Cardassian tricorders and stuff if anybody makes those. Oh, I happen to have one. These are, see, this is the Vidian the Dominion, the Borg, and the Kazon. Not a whole lot there. And I, that's not, is this the last page? No. A few more random symbols. Got the Ferengi symbol, Vulcan, Etic, the Bajoran. This is the Bajoran state symbol. That's the military symbol. This is, I think, Iconians. Or is this the Iconian one? I know this is the Trill symbol. So let me get that glare. And then you got the Horgon, Quark's Bar, the uh, Deep Space Nine, uh, the Niners, the baseball team, the Niners. I'm, I'm thinking this is the Iconians. I can't remember. Well, the important thing is, I can flip back here. Okay, the round one was the Iconians. And that this one is the Triskelions. Okay, I, I was, I was getting mixed up. I knew one of them was the Iconians, but, anyways, got the obligatory about the author section. Yes, this is a kids' book, but they knew they knew adults were going to buy this, and they had to be worried about it. You know, adults putting stickers all over their house. Because that would have happened. And it did. Back in 1999. 
everybody knows that. My mom didn't get on to me for that. As an 18-year-old who put Star Trek stickers all over his room, that didn't happen. <clears throat> because, yeah, this isn't the original book I had. I actually do have that original one. It's up there. There's no stickers in it anymore. I guess I used them all. I don't remember. <coughs> <clears throat> um, but <laughs> this has just been a goofy fun look at the 1999 Star Trek sticker book if you can get your hands on one the stickers do seem to still be good they they still have some stick them left let's see if I can yeah yeah, yeah there's still some stick them left there um so go, go get you one. Give it to your to your five year old and let them Star Trek your house. It'll be it'll be the, the happiest day of a mother's life to to have her house Star Trek stickered all over. I hope you enjoyed this, and uh, I'll see you next time. Take care of yourself. And go make something like a Star Trek mess of stickers. If you enjoy my videos and want to see more, please like, share, subscribe, and ring the bell icon. If you want to support me, you can find me on Patreon or go over to Zazzle for prints of my artwork, t-shirts, and other cool stuff. If you're still here, why do you want to jam out? <laughs> <laughs>